Hello everyone, this is Melissa with Enchanted Emerald bringing you a reading here on this Wednesday, April 20th, 2022 for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, that's you. And I am using the traditional Rider Waite deck today. And out of the deck comes the Nine of Cups with the World card, the Judgment card, and then overall, as I was asked by Spirit, an outcome or advice card, we have the Chariot accompanied with the Ace of Cups. So what I'm really feeling here for you, Water Signs, what do you need to know today? I'm feeling as though today's a day to not get lost in wishful thinking, okay? I do feel as though this is a day to stay focused, stay determined, stay forward thinking in terms of being ambitious in regards to your goals. I do feel as though this is a quiet determination that surrounds you, okay? I do feel like um, you might be focused more so on your goals, maybe even to the detriment of neglecting private matters, things in your relationships, in your day-to-day uh, -day life. But the advice here is that intention is everything. So be mindful here um, with making sure that your thoughts and your actions are aligning and making sure that you are um, keeping your thoughts and emotions uh, Focused on what it is that you're wanting. What outcome are you wanting, right? So making sure that your energy is aligned with what your outcome is that you're desiring, right? So I feel like that's what we're really setting the intention for is to align our energy with that, with what we desire, okay? I do feel like with that Nine of Cups that brings in this I dream of genie feel. You can see this. Uh, person has their arms crossed, you know, and I feel it's almost like the I dream of genie with that bing, blink and everything that you have desired is at hand for you. It will show up for you. I feel there is a potential for that to happen for you, but I do feel that with this, this is important for you to make sure that your heart and your mind are on the same page, right? And so I do feel like combining the forces of your logic and making sure your heart are in the same place or your heart space is in the same place as where you're um, aligning your thoughts and your actions, right? Um, and allowing your emotion to see that through in terms of uh, bringing that in with your intention, drawing that into you, manifesting that for you. I do feel like um, there's a potential here to get caught up in our headspace, uh, feeling trapped, so to speak, in our mind, be it daydreaming, um, uh, giving into fear, uh, you know, overthinking things. I do feel that there's um, a momentary questioning of, you know, hey, do I really have what it takes to make this happen? Understand that that is temporary, okay? Um, I wouldn't say push that aside. I would say to acknowledge that for what it is, acknowledge that this is a, a fear that is surfacing within you and it is normal to have fear. But in order for that to clear within your energy, you have to acknowledge that. And once you acknowledge that, there is a letting go, a surrendering that can happen. And it's in this letting go and honoring that truth that you have that fear, right? That a new truth will come to light for you, right? A new truth will surface for you and that you might be embracing your power and your strength, your confidence, your courage to really make things happen for you. It's a realization that I can do this, right? It's stepping into your power and it's really gonna usher in this next phase for you and I do feel like as a result of that, you're going to get the recognition that you've earned and that you so rightfully deserve. It's well-deserved. And I do feel as though perhaps in the past that was something you've also questioned. Um, like, gosh, is this something that I deserve? What you've wanted for a long time, you're kind of questioning, um, hey, I'm not really sure 
uh, that I am worthy of that, right? Um, whether you knew that you're questioning it or not, subconsciously, this was something that was surfacing. And so coming out to the other side of that, you do know that you deserve it. And it's a beautiful energy to embody. And so um, I do feel like this is going to have you in your feelings, right? With this Ace of Cups, right? You're really going to be feeling this. And um, you're going to feel really proud. And you're going to feel really accomplished. And I feel like this energy that accompanies it is going to be like this feeling of like, oh, oh my gosh, all my dreams, they've come true, right? And so you're going to be a force to be reckoned with. And it's going to be this immediate impact for you within your own life and in the lives of others that are that you are impacting them in a positive way as well. So just remember that this is a time as you achieve these things to revel in the magic and the beauty of all of this and how far you've come and in your growth and manifesting all this beautiful stuff because um, I know that we're always growing and one desire leads to the next and it won't be long before you have set your sights on a new goal but don't forget to take some time to revel in the pleasure of having this beautiful amazing experience of success show up for you. Okay, water signs, so beautiful energy for you. I do so hope that this reading resonates for you. And as always, if you're interested in your own personal reading, I'd love to be able to do that for you. You can go ahead and book a session with me at the square site below, or you can hit me up in the messenger on Facebook, or you can email me at enchantedemeraldny at gmail.com. As always, I will be back with another read for you guys again soon. Thank you so much for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Take care.